Jesus fucking Christ. What in the fuck was that little descent into the fucking twilight zone that I have been through? I, I tell you, I never knew when I signed up uh, the Sancho Sh Sheraton Tiny House. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck I was heading into. So, uh, I get this fucking reservation on, uh, on Airbnb, uh, at the last fucking minute to, uh, to rent the goddamn, uh, to rent the goddamn tiny house for tonight and Wednesday night for today. Good God, since when, when I got up this morning, as of 10 o'clock this morning, uh, that tiny house was not a, was available tonight, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night. And uh, then, let's see, in one hour, the goddamn thing rents for Thursday night and Friday night, which kind of threw my uh, week into a pan to a mild panic. And uh, an hour later, I get this call from uh, these two guys, uh, Billy Bob and uh, Smokey Joe. Uh, good fucking God. And uh, little did I know that my descent into the twilight zone was beginning. But, uh, you know, everything is a fucking learning experience. Look at that, these fucking smoky skies over Ithaca, New York. This is, we're driving over Ithaca Falls right now. Beautiful waterfall in one of many gorges. So anyway, guys, so, so these guys don't have a car. They don't have a car, so they're talking about, uh, you know, having to take an Uber uh, out to Bugs in a Jar which is about a $30 Uber ride. So uh, I tell them, uh, well, I will come get you. Uh, I say, for $30 fucking dollars, I'll come up to Ithaca and pick you up and uh, bring you home. And there began my fucking descent in into the fucking twilight zone. So I don't know what's going on. I, so what it was with the, was this dude, I don't think that they're gay. I, I honestly don't think that they're gay. What it was was this young man, I would say uh, maybe 20 years old, and I don't I don't know what the fuck drug he was on. the The young man had no fucking clue what planet he was on. No fucking clue what planet he's on. And uh, they go back and forth. Do they want to go? They do want to go. They don't want to go. So at one point, I finally said, uh, guys, this is turning pretty fucking weird. This is not a good fit. And I went and got back in the fucking truck and was just getting ready to pull away when uh, when Smokey Joe said, you know, like, like please, man, uh, Billy Bob uh, needs to get out of here. Uh, so being a, the nice guy that I am, uh, <laughs> I load these two fucking guys, uh, in, in, you know, into the truck. This is another gorge that we're going through, uh, in Ithaca, New York. So anyway, uh, go all the fucking way out to Bugs in a Jar Farm. I mean, we're pulling up to bugs in a jar. These guys have no fucking car. They have no car, and I need to be gone from bugs in a jar tomorrow. I'm going to be leaving at 8.30 in the morning tomorrow, and I uh, have to, well, it's not important while I'm doing, but anyway, I'm going to be gone all fucking day tomorrow. I'm already leaving uh, this dude alone in the, in the Maggie May so I already have this one guy that I'm leaving there, 
uh, a loan on the property in the USS Maggie May. Uh, Rob and Donna, they're out fucking, uh, they're out house sitting at Sandy's house. So Rob and Donna aren't there to cover for me. And uh, I already have one guest in, you know, out in the Maggie May. And uh, so, so I bring these, these, these fucking dudes. Uh, I don't know if he was tripping on acid. My guess is that he was tripping on acid. Uh, is all I can figure what I, I have no clue what fucking drug was coursing through this young man's brain. So we get all the fucking way to bugs in a jar. And, and this and this dude really starts creeping me the fuck out. I mean seriously creeping me the fuck out. And uh, you know, I was thinking, uh, you know, about leaving them uh, alone there tomorrow. Now, I want to say that Smokey Joe was a great guy. I mean, the guy looked about 40. Absolute, you know, I, I, I let Smokey Joe know uh, that, that he was a true brother to uh, be taking on uh, this fucking task. Uh, of uh, dealing with this young man. I mean, this fucking young man, I, I mean, he was this far from, uh, you know, fucking Looneyville. He needs to be uh, put in a fucking straitjacket and committed to a goddamn psychiatric hospital. I mean, the guy is, 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 in, a, is in a psychotic break. Uh, he didn't know what fucking planet he was on. And we get into the fucking driveway, and I'm thinking, you know, I I'm going to be leaving uh, this kid uh, at my house with this guy with, with, with no fucking car. Rob and Donna aren't here. I don't know if the kid and the Maggie May was going to be there or not. I have to leave the fucking house open. Uh, because they, you know, they share the bathroom. And we pulled up in the fucking driveway, and I just looked at uh, the two of them, and I said, guys, uh, I said, I'm sorry that this isn't going to fucking work. It's just not going to fucking work. And, uh, and, and poor Smokey Joe just, uh, you know, he wasn't one bit surprised. And, uh... I turn around and bring these fuckers all the fucking way back to Ithaca. I have now, I left the fucking house at 5.30. It is now 8.12. I have been dealing with this fucking bullshit uh, for almost three fucking hours that I've been dealing uh, with this bullshit. Uh, and uh, so it's going to be well, three hours and 15 minutes. Uh, let's see, how many, about probably $8 worth of gas. Three and a half fucking hours uh, of my goddamn time and energy dealing with this fucking lunatic. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give the fucking kid the benefit of the doubt that he's tripping on acid or, or God knows what is going through his fucking bloodstream, and that he's not just an unbelievable fucking whack job, a danger to himself and others. And so uh, the, the upshot is, so uh, get there and, and fucking Smokey Joe, you know, apologizing profusely and, uh, and, and fucking pulls a wad of $100 bills out. He reaches in his pocket and he, and he uh, has like six $100 bills and a fucking $20 bill. And uh, he goes, dude, he goes, I am sorry we put you through all this. And uh, obviously he gave me the 20 uh, not they were not one of the 100 so I have made $20 you take out my gas and uh, take out the gas they call that eight dollars so I made about twelve dollars for three hours and 15 minutes worth of work but I'm, I'm really not complaining because it, it was a fucking learning experience uh, 
uh, you, you, you know, it was a fucking learning experience. And of course, uh, you know, I thought I was getting 130 fucking dollars. So I thought I was getting 130 dollars for the for the rental and 30 dollars for the uh, Uber ride, and probably another 30 dollars to take him back. So it, I went from what I thought was going to be a hundred and one hundred and ninety dollars in my pocket to twelve dollars but anyway uh, he, he, you know this, this whole fucking thing uh, I mean when you name your goddamn uh, farm bugs in a jar and, and you fucking open up your your house to the whole fucking planet uh good fucking god uh anyway i am frazzled uh i need a goddamn margarita uh like really bad the 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 kid kept asking me uh did i have any peyote for sale he he wanted to know if i could sell him some peyote and uh, then he kept saying, do you want to do a SIG with us? Do you want to do a SIG? Uh, I have no fucking clue uh, what a SIG meant, for, you know, what a 20 year uh, old code word and uh, I assured this young man I had no interest in doing a SIG with him. Uh, but they sure could have uh, left me one of their two cases of hard cider. They had two cases of hard cider. It would have been a really nice gesture if they could have thrown in a fucking case of that hard cider uh, in addition to this fucking $20 bill. And, uh, you know, anyway... I mean, meeting this 20-year-old. Uh, I mean, this kid is fucked. I'm assuming he's 20. He might have only been 18. I mean, he was a young dude. I, I as I say, I don't know uh, who this, uh, who the older guy was. What the? I, I think he was literally uh, his guardian angel. That's what I called the guy. You know, right, right to, uh, right to his face, uh, and I told this young man, uh, I, 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 I said, I said, dude, I said, I hope you fucking realize how blessed you are to, uh, to have this man in your life right now, that you would be fucked right now if uh, Smokey Joe uh, wasn't uh, in the back seat of this truck. Jesus fucking Christ, what was that? Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, it was right out of fucking psycho. Uh, having fucking Norman Bates in the fucking car with me. And, and, and then uh, I, I, I went and dumped them off <clears throat> at one of these kids' friends. Out there. So this guy that where I just left them off has no fucking clue that this dude uh, was coming over to spend the night. And he wasn't even home. So there was nobody fucking home. Uh, well, you know, we had all the fucking groceries and, and, and shit. There was nobody home. And, and I'm telling, uh, you know, the fucking guardian angel, I, I said, dude, I said, is this fucking cool for me to be leaving this young man off here? And uh, he said it doesn't matter that no one's home. Uh, sorry for our trouble. Here's twenty fucking dollars for your time and energy. But uh, you know, uh, if this is an example of the, uh, you know, of the youngsters uh, taking over, you know, is is this the fucking generation? that uh, we're leaving the, the, this planet to? 
You know, I, I've, uh, I mean, it was, it was, it was really sad. It was, uh, I mean, I'm going to be having fucking nightmares about this. I have to go, go home and, and, and watch some goddamn Netflix bullshit about alien abduction uh, to get my mind off the fucking space alien I just had in the fucking car with me. Jesus, I uh, what I did, I put Sancho in his lap. Uh, I, I, I said, brother, I said, you need some fucking Sancho therapy. And uh, so I, I put Sancho in his lap and, uh, and the kid just burst into tears holding Sancho and Sancho's sitting there licking his damn face and uh, he's sitting there crying, uh, hugging Sancho and his fucking buddy is in the back seat, uh, you know, just squeezing his shoulder uh, like saying, dude, you've got to fucking keep it together. Uh, the, the kid was uh, having a complete fucking breakdown, but I think Sancho, uh, he got some Sancho Panza therapy. Anyway, so Sancho maybe, uh, maybe broke through the fucking barriers. Jesus fucking Christ, what a day this has been. And I want to get back home and read the comments to my uh, video that uh, Dulcinea sent me about uh, uh, about Pauline Love, uh, that clueless fucking bimbo, uh, you know who Pauline is, uh, calling Hambone Little Tail a sexist, misogynist pile of crap while she's sitting there, uh, you know, with Guy McPherson's dick in her mouth, calling me a fucking, <laughs> oh God, what a day it's been. But hey, uh, if Dulcinea is, uh, is, is talking to me again, even if it's talking about Guy McPherson, I'll take whatever I can get. And if, uh, and if Dulcinea wants me to start talking about space aliens on this fucking channel. I guess we're going to start talking about space aliens on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Anyway, what a fucking day. See all the fun you're missing, Dulcinea? If you had been here, girl, you could have, had, you could have experienced a fucking alien invasion right here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. You, you could have... Uh, I, I mean, this dude, with all of the fucking space aliens I dealt with in 20 fucking years of dealing with fucking space aliens, not one of them, not one of these fucking space aliens had anything over the fucking space alien I, I just had in the fucking car with me. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going to have to fucking sage my truck. Uh, <laughs> life. Anyway, fucking life. Whoever would have thought being an Airbnb host uh, would have made me uh, long for the halcyon days of being abducted by fucking space aliens. Anyway, I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy being abducted by space aliens while you still can as I drive down this lonely road with darkness descending. We are so fucked, but compared to that young man who is, uh, I guess compared to him, I'm in pretty good shape. Bye guys.